Hi guys! Today I will show you some interesting things about Kinshasa, the capital of Democratic Republic of the Congo, located in Central Africa. So, let's start! It was my first time in Africa and it was surprising for me to see a huge city with a lot of traffic. Kinshasa is one of the world's fastest growing megacities. Its population now in the year 2023 is 16.3 million people and it is third largest metropolitan area in Africa after Cairo and Lagos. So, the city is very crowded and in rush hour there are horrible traffic jams in the city. If you are stuck in such a traffic jam, you will sometimes need around 2 hours to pass the distance that normally takes only 10 or 15 minutes. Which is very annoying, as you waste too much time in the traffic. Also, it was interesting for me that there are almost no traffic lights in the city. You can see them very seldom. Looks like they are just starting to install them. And as a rule, drivers do not really follow their signals. There are no rules on the road. Drivers just go wherever they need to go. On road intersections, people just try to pass, going in all directions, making a real chaos on the road. There are policemen on almost all road intersections, but when they try to make the traffic regulations, it usually becomes even worse. It's faster when cars just crazily go in all directions, the drivers can somehow maneuver in the traffic. Mostly, cars in Kinshasa are old and shabby. There are not enough means of public transportation. Buses and minibuses are usually very crowded, so it is very common to go by taxi. But they have another system there. Usually, people share taxis with others. Taxis take people on the way until the car is full. It is possible to go by taxi just by yourself, but it will cost more expensive, of course. The majority of people cannot afford it. Also, there are a lot of motorbikes. They are very convenient, as they can easily move in the traffic. In Kinshasa, motorbike taxis are very popular. Very often, they take two passengers and ride three people on a bike. And mostly, these taxis work only in some specific area. So, if you need to go quite a long distance, you have to use several means of transportation to get to your final destination. Many local workers in our company lived quite far from the workplace, so usually they had to change from two to four means of transportation to get to work. There are many people walking among the cars in the traffic, selling some stuff. And there are a lot of street vendors along the roads. Also, there are a lot of beggars, especially people with some disabilities. They come up to cars asking for money.
Unfortunately, people in the Democratic Republic of the Congo, or shortly DRC, are mostly very poor. It is one of the poorest countries in the world, though when it comes to natural resources, it is one of the richest countries. They have everything. They have gold and diamonds, oil and gas, also minerals critical to the energy transition like cobalt and copper. But all these natural resources are taken out of the country by foreign companies. In reality, Democratic Republic of the Congo is still like a colony and the population is poor. In another video, I will show you how much things cost in the supermarkets of Kinshasa, what the salaries of the local people are, and you will see how hard it is for them to live. They really have to struggle in their lives. Still, in Kinshasa, there are many more opportunities for work than in the rural areas of DRC. That is why every year more than 300,000 people move there. Kinshasa is also the largest officially francophone city in the world. French is the official language of the Democratic Republic of the Congo. It is used in schools, in government documents, newspapers, street signs and dominates in television and the press. People also speak the Congolese languages among themselves, Lingala in Kinshasa and other African languages like Kikongo or Swahili in other provinces. This is all for today. Thank you for watching this video till the end. Subscribe to this channel for more interesting videos about Africa and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.